Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jen, and this is my good boy, my service dog buddy. Usually this is the point where I would be like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this video because whatever it is that the topic is gonna be. But to be honest, today I'm actually very nervous because I'm going to show you some footage from a time that I don't remember that's potentially very embarrassing, but I don't know because I haven't seen it yet. Yo! <sighs> I'm feeling very nervous about making this video because I don't really know what to expect from the footage I'm about to watch. And I'm hoping that I will feel brave enough to share at least some of it with you. Two nights ago I had a really bad migraine and we decided to film parts of it. We filmed the migraine knowing that I may or may not share it with you guys and to this point I actually have not seen the footage myself yet. There's a lot of memory loss that happens during migraines and in general the worse I am during the migraine the more of it I'm going to forget. That's not a steadfast rule but it's kind of there. I think it's really important that some people with chronic migraines that are not so typical or even episodic migraines that happen to be vestibular or happen to be complex or happen to have um, basal or brainstem aura, like my stuff. Um, I think it's important that the general public sees that migraines really aren't just bad headaches. So I'm anxious to get to this footage with you guys and hopefully I have the strength and the courage required to post some of it for you so that you can see it too. Well, take it easy, slow down. I think there's a lot of misunderstanding around migraine because almost everybody knows somebody who has migraines or at least has had a migraine. And as someone who has been in a few different shoes around this, going from healthy to episodic migraines to chronic migraines, I can honestly say that chronic migraines or even atypical migraines really should not be lumped into the same camp as episodic migraines. The definition of chronic migraine is more than 15 migraine days per month. And obviously that's like most of them. So at the very beginning of your migraine journey, you tend to just miss a lot of events. Eventually, during your more mild migraines, you do start hanging out with friends. And I think that's really good because people get to see more of what actually happens during migraines. But I think that can also be a little bit damaging because if other people are only seeing the most mild of your migraines, they might not realize how bad they really can get. I've noticed over the past four years or so that I've been symptomatic and for the past three years that I've been officially diagnosed with chronic migraine that I can talk about my symptoms all I want, but the severity of them really doesn't get across when it's coming from someone like me who comes off as so healthy and energetic and full of life and zest. There's a lot that happens behind the scenes that I haven't shared with anybody other than my husband, and to an extent, he's the only one who knows because I can't remember it either. So I'm quite nervous to see what this footage has, and I'm really hoping that I grow a pair and show some of it to you so that you guys can see what migraines look like that aren't the ones that you see in public. I'm pretty sure this is going to do more good to other people than it could possibly do harm to me. But while you're watching this stuff, please keep in mind, this is my real life. These are my real experiences. This is my disability. Like This is really crazy that I'm even considering showing the hardest parts of my life, the darkest and most secret parts of my life to people who just happen to stumble into it on the internet. So if you could please keep your heart kind, when you're watching these things and abstain from any rude comments. That's really the, the thing I fear the most in this is that people are going to be mean and it's already embarrassing enough. Yeah, I know it's ugly. All the things, all the mean things that you guys might say to this, I haven't seen it, but I'm expecting the worst. Yeah, without further ado, let's uh, get these files loaded. Okay, the footage is loaded, so now I can see the little thumbnails and I have to say I'm not looking so hot. First clip is only 17 seconds and it's Migraine Jen extremely close up looking like garbage. I'm gonna bring you over here for a sec so that you can see what I'm looking at. It is a little bit what I expected but also eh, let me let me just show you you can see for yourself. This is very weird because clearly my eyes are super watery, my face is like a little bit flushed. Um, I have a very concerned look on my face. We'll see where this takes us. Let's find out what Migraine Jen had to say. Turn that down. Oh my gosh, I feel like my eyes just went like... 
Okay, first clip, I was really just trying to figure out the tripod. But something that I noticed that my husband talks about a lot is my crazy eyes. He doesn't call it crazy eyes, we both kind of call it reading eyes. Because um, I get nystagmus, which is where they shake back and forth. In this clip in particular, it's a very close-up shot of that, of my eyes going all over the place, even though it's very clear that I'm trying to do something on the camera. So it's really surprising that I wasn't able to focus my eyes on the task that I was trying to do, even though I was sort of having trouble with it at the time. It's those sorts of disconnects that make it really difficult to have a job or even to maintain the job that you already have if this is just coming up randomly. Here we go. It was right all along. I'm going to put it on the tripod. That's the sounds of breath of the wild. Can you double check that I got the camera on the tripod? Yeah, you got it. Okay. Uh, push it again to turn it off. Yo! This 15 seconds is the tip of the iceberg. I can't believe what my husband goes through with this. He's so calm through it. He's been through this so many times and I can barely even watch it. It's very weird watching Migraine Gen recall things because I have to pause for so long and so intensely and there's just this blank expression on my face. I'm just... And you can just, you can see the gears turning in my brain. Maybe mostly because you can see my eyes going, this is intense. Like, can you guys see it? Can you see the gears turning? Can you comment below and let me know if you can see that? I don't know if I can see it just because I feel it, because I know what it feels like, but yeah, please let me know. Do you feel like you can see what I'm talking about here, or am I absolutely going nuts? Oh my gosh, I feel like my eyes just went like... Okay. Oh! What? Yeah? Um... Uh, it was recording... Um... And it's still recording. I did not imagine that in the first minute I'd start tearing up about this. So this is this is gonna be hard to watch. This is gonna be really hard for me to watch. I don't know how much of this I'm even gonna get through. This is devastating. <sighs> I gave myself a good few minutes to calm down. Um, a lot of people know about the sensory overload that happens with migraines. At the very beginning of this clip, there were sounds happening from a video game and it was making my eyes go crazy. That sounds really nuts, but I can sort of feel like thunderstorms in my head and it makes my eyes all Coincidentally, Migraine John in the video just described to Brian exactly that. And I'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip here so that you can see how bad I am at describing things when I have a migraine. Um, when the music got busy, um, my eyes went that. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. This is so much to take in. At this point, I don't know what to expect out of Migraine Gen, so... Try I'll, to, try to I'll be able to see my eyes... ...doing... Um... And now I'm gonna show you the next few seconds of the clip, where I'm clearly very happy that I got that stuff on camera, but I'm also unable to get the words out to express to Brian that that's what I'm excited about. It is probably the least flattering thing that I will ever put on the internet, and then I proceed to hit myself in the tooth with a can of boobly. So that's nice. And 
court. Er, got it. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> really hard video to make and it's gonna be a really hard video to post because as much as I think it's really important for you guys to see all of this stuff it's also just super embarrassing and it might be a little bit too much to just but at the very beginning of sharing anything so I might make this video and then sleep on it and think about whether I'm actually ready to post it or what sleep on it and think about whether I'm actually really ready to post it Buddy alerted me this morning, so I know I'm never gonna remember all these clips, so I'm going to write them down. This is one of the unexpected benefits of service dogs. I seem really normal in my noggin right now, but I'm going to probably forget all of this. Thankfully, since Buddy alerted me this morning, I'm aware of it. At least there's that, so I can write this down. I did a whole video about that and other things that Buddy did that I wasn't expecting, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a card up here for you for that. If you do go check out that video, make sure you don't forget to come back here and watch the rest of this one, and I promise that sometime in the future I will stop giving you giant hands of doom coming at the camera, but today I feel like pointing at you. Let's go to the next one. Not migraine, Jen, Come on, migraine, Jen! Spit it out! I have never known them. Oh. Not, not migraine, Jen can hear aphasia. Yeah. What? Unfortunately, in the background of basically all these clips, I'm getting a lot of sound. I've only ever gotten one other clip that had that sound in it, and I don't know what causes it. So someone who's a little bit more tech savvy than me or camera savvy than me, please tell me what causes this sound so I can make sure that it never happens again. Uh, oh, I'm getting an aura. Oh, ironic. Ow. <laughs> okay, I am... I am so surprised by this stuff. So first of all, every time I start trying to talk, it seems like I get really confused or my brain gets overwhelmed and goes into overdrive and my eyes just nystagmus the heck out of the place. The other thing I notice is that I freeze a lot. So like if I point at something, I'll move on to the rest of my life, but I'll forget to unpoint that hand. Obviously, I do forget most of what happens during migraines, but when something happens so many times, you do start to remember little bits of it. And one thing I do know about aphasia is that I have clear thoughts in my head, it's just that I can't spit them out with my mouth. And in my head, I actually know exactly what words I want to spit out. I just can't. They're quick, brown. You got it. Say it. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. You can do it. Come on, migraine Jen. I am so tired. No. You're not, you're not tired. Don't give up. Mm. Mm. Wake brown fox jumps over the... <laughs> <laughs> you tried. <laughs> the quick brown fox... The... The quick... <laughs> the quick brown fox. The quick... The quick brown... I am so tired from that. <laughs> I'm literally so exhausted. I'm so out of breath from trying to talk. Weirdest video. I'm really relieved by this clip because at the very least I look happy and I look comfortable. It's clear that I'm suffering a lot and I'm a little bit frustrated. In terms of migraine attacks, it makes me happy to think that I was able to be this happy during a bad migraine. Might be the weirdest video I've 
ever taken. Probably. I would be surprised if it wasn't. Probably. <laughs> I just said that this is the weirdest video I've ever taken. I think that's true. I can't stress that enough. Like, in my head, in these moments, most of the time, I know exactly what the sentence is that I need to say. My mouth just won't do it. And I guess that's sort of the same with my hands. I really want my hand, for example, to go like that and pinch a zipper, but it won't. And I think that plays into the paralysis thing. I don't recall if I got paralyzed at all in this migraine. I don't think I did while the camera was rolling. Watching clips that are this bad with such a clear head is really eye-opening. I think if I saw clips of my friend like this, I would be really surprised and urging them to go to the hospital. I certainly never would see these clips and think, oh yeah, that's definitely just a migraine. She's definitely gonna just be fine tomorrow and be literally acting like this. How does this happen? I guess what I'm trying to say is this looks really bad, but the true freaky part to me is how normal it is to us. I have identified my triggers pretty well, so I don't get this bad very often anymore. But I can't believe that there was ever a time that this was normal for us nearly every day, even at work. At this point, that helicopter sound is getting really bad, so I don't know how much of this part I can show you, but now Migraine Jen is thanking Brian for being a good husband, thanking Buddy for alerting, saying that Buddy does really well, and then panning over to Buddy to show that he does smile every time he gives an alert, especially after I get really bad. He gets so proud. It's obnoxious how much I love my dog. I think my husband definitely gets a ton of points for staying calm through all of this. I think that's why I'm able to stay so relaxed and so calm when this stuff is happening to me. This is messed up. If people with migraines, if people with vestibular migraines, complex migraines, any atypical migraines have symptoms like this, the doctors need to be educating the patients and telling them, hey, just so you know, Here's some things to look out for. You're not dying. Because that would have saved us a lot of fear and a lot of panic back when all of these things were first starting to happen. Because remember, there has to be a first time for everything. You can't just go to the ER every single time you get a migraine if you get them like every freaking day. Okay, this clip is two minutes long. At the very beginning, I opened with, hello, this is Migraine Jen with a message for not Migraine Jen. For the next like 30 seconds, I lost my train of thought. And then I did a bunch of nystagmus, and then at the one minute mark, I was like, wait, this wasn't supposed to be a message for Migraine Gen after all. And of course, when I did the wait, I did that bug eye thing. That, that oh, oh, ye oh, it wasn't even supposed to be a message for not Migraine Gen. No. No. I'm really anxious to ask my husband how often I do this bug eye thing. I look terrified. I look so scared and I probably am a little bit inside. I mean, this looks like scary stuff to go through and I can't really remember, but maybe we should talk to Migraine Jen about that next time we do something like this because I'm kind of curious about what's going on in my head with all this. I seem really happy and sort of used to it, but I'm sure it's very frustrating and I can't remember it, but it looks like sometimes I am able to notice some of the weird symptoms, which I'm also really surprised about. So I don't know, like, do I know how weird I look? Maybe. The message for not migraine gen was totally uneventful. It was not a message at all. It was just some feelings. Thanks for making me sit through that. I'm not gonna make you sit through that. But I do wanna show you this clip that I thought was a little bit chilling considering obviously this is what I'm feeling right now that this is terrifying to post. Migraine gen is also terrified to post. But if I think about this going on the internet, it freaking terrifies me. That was a roller coaster. I would love to hear in the comments below if any of this surprised you or if you felt like it was helpful for you. Your feedback on this one in particular is really important to me because it is one that's so emotionally charged to post. I want to make sure that it's actually doing some good. I guess what I'm trying to say is I want to make sure that the pros outweigh the cons and I'm not just posting this and embarrassing myself and it's not providing any value to you. So again, please let me know in the comments. While you're down there commenting, hit subscribe. If you tap the little notification bell, then you can get a notification or an email every single time that I post a new video. Please. Liking and commenting is honestly the best way that you can give me feedback about what kinds of videos you want to see and don't want to see. And hitting subscribe is the best way that you can support my channel and guarantee that I can keep making free content for you. So I really appreciate if you consider it. This video is like so personal to me that it feels weird to be filming it from my office desk. 
back to my bed. First of all, I know that this is a lot. And if you did watch the whole thing, thank you, of course, for for checking into my story and for looking at what I'm really going through. I really just appreciate when people are willing to listen. Let me grab my notebook. I don't remember much ever. I realized that by posting something like this, I am opening myself up to the full wrath of the internet. And especially with me being so nervous to post this, I really appreciate any positivity that you're able to show me in the comments below. And especially if you learn something, because frankly, that's the whole point. I know that this is a lot to take in, and I do really appreciate it. And if you didn't learn anything, then in my eyes, there wasn't much of a point to me posting this at all. I did start my online journey on Instagram. My Instagram handle is currently momming with migraine, all one word, nothing weird. So if you want to see more really cute pictures of Buddy or just in general know what we're up to, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Especially at this point in my YouTube journey where I'm only like four videos in, you can certainly learn a lot more about Buddy and his tasks and even see some live footage of him working if you go check out my highlights. I do stories almost every day and I do post pictures decently often, so that's the best way to keep in touch with us and really know what we're up to over here. 